Riveworld has just updated, so let's check it out. Going into the shop and looking at the new cars, we have one new one called the Zenith. At stock, we have a horsepower of 232 and a score of 285. And now let's upgrade it and check out the customizations. And looking in here, you can see that they added a new thing called flame tuning, which this costs 199 Robux, but it can allow you to change the nitrous color and the backfire of your car. When it's maxed, it has a score of 1,168 and a horsepower of 1,276. And this car is able to get around 250 miles per hour. And I really like how this car handles. It might be one of my favorite handling cars in the game right now. Now moving on to things other than the new cars in the shop, heading into the settings and scrolling down to the bottom, you can see that there's a new option which is toggle minimap. So now you can have a minimap in the bottom left corner of your screen. And now looking in the weekly quest, we have a brand new car, the Turaku Extreme, and the Hooligan is back again. And it seems that we have basically the same challenges as before, we don't have any new ones. But the Turaku Extreme actually requires you to find 5 barns in Japan. And looking on the map, you can see that it shows the general location of each barn. And I'm going to be showing you each of these locations. Starting off with the first barn at the very bottom, if you go over to the race right here, Scenic Route Trail, you can TP to it and it's easier to get over to the location. And here's the barn right here, uh, you can see on the map right there. And going into it, there is a part, and if you run into it, you'll break it. You have to go fast enough to be able to break it though, or it doesn't work. And then you can move on to the next part. At the next two, you can either spawn at this race, or you can go to one of these closer ones in the middle of this. But we're going to go to the bottom one first. And this one's probably the most obvious as it's in a very big area. And it's right here on the map. And all these work the same, you just break the part and you collect it. And here's the next one, going over to this race right here and going up here onto this hill, you can see it right here. Now to the one in the top right, going over to this trailer delivery right here.
And going up this hill right here, you can see it is right over here. And for the last and final one of this week, heading over to this food delivery spot right here. And turning around and going up this hill right over here. And there it is, you break this part and you'll unlock the new truck. So this one's actually easier than completing these other challenges. And here it is at stock, it has a horsepower of 74 and a score of 168. And here are the customizations for it. So the spoilers don't seem to work on it yet. Maybe they'll fix that. Oh, and it seems you can remove the license plate if you choose none. And these taillights aren't supposed to be here, I don't think. Now heading over to drag strip. Oh, oh, whoops. Now heading over to drag strip and trying to use this car. Let's see how good it is on drag strip. Yeah, this thing really likes to wheelie, so if you're wanting to use this on drag, you're gonna have to change up the suspension to make sure it doesn't do that because you'll lose time. And with that, I think that's gonna be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update and I'll see you in the next video.